everybody welcome back this is Gina today I thought we would alter a guest check another really um, easy idea for you and these are relatively inexpensive if you live in another country where you can't purchase these I know there's a lot of ladies on Etsy that are doing digitals and they're just a lot of fun um, and as I said, I picked up um, a stack of them <clears throat> here so that I knew I would always have something when I needed to add to a project that didn't take up a lot of room, but it's it's just a great, great base um, that you can build upon. The other thing I have been pondering <laughs> is in the Tim Holtz die cut packages you get a lot of these images that are not colored and I don't know about you guys but I've really struggled with what to do with them I totally understand it if you are into the Coptic uh, markers and things like that that maybe ladies are coloring them in you could probably use a watercolor wash I'm not sure you've got that protective coating so I'm not too sure what you're supposed to do with these and I recently spotted um, a image on Pinterest that really intrigued me because she had used this with the guest check so I am just taking uh, inspiration from that idea and I thought I would share with you guys because it might be something that you're struggling to figure out how you're going to use those in a project. So I'm hoping this will shed a bit of light. <laughs> okay, so let's get started, guys. I've got my uh, matte gel here. I'll lift you out just a bit. And we are going to, first of all, I want to do the pattern paper over this guest check to tone that down and keep it in the color scheme that um, that I'm planning to do with this. So let's get started. I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a light layer of this matte gel. Oh, I so prefer this over Mod Podge, I tell ya. I'm not a fan of the Mod Podge at all. And this is a much, much better solution. So I'm just going to drop that on there. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Sorry, guys. I'll okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, so, now that we've got that on there, we're just going to trim it away. Okay, so we'll set that to the side and let that uh, completely dry. I'll add a little bit more glue there to that corner it's lifting. So, And then after it's completely dry, we'll tidy up the edges with the, the little sanding block if we need to. So the next thing I've got uh, is a piece of the muslin fabric. 
so I know I want to stamp an image on that, and I've decided to go with this one of the field notes stamps. And I'm just going to stamp that. Oh, this is not the right ink to be using, but I don't have. You need to use Stazon, which is a permanent ink, um, but I don't have it, so I'm just going to have to go with what I've got here. But do not use a water based ink. Not that this is going to get wet, but it just won't give you as crisp of an in image. But I'm happy with how that's come out. It's very subtle, but it's fine. Yeah, those are really nice stamps. They've got a, a very nice image to those. Um, the other thing I found was a piece of fabric, and I really liked this because I didn't want anything uh, too dark. I want it to all kind of blend. The only thing I think I'm going to take just a little bit more off the side of that. And that's just going to go under this bit of fabric. But for this, I'm going to need to stitch those together. So what I'm going to do is just run this through my sh machine and stitch that, and then we can glue that um, onto the guest check so I will have to get my machine out and I'll be right back okay guys <clears throat> I thought I better show you how this has come out I hope you can see that I've just stitched those together because the glue uh, I think if the glue if I tried to glue that that ink would definitely have run which is the problem with the water-based ink. Um, so the other thing I want to do while I've got my machine out is I've grabbed a bit of lace that I want to add down at the bottom here. And I'm just going to go ahead, I've gotten the machine out, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. And then I've grabbed a couple of other bits of trim that I'm just going to stitch up here as well. And then we're going to come, I'll come back in in a bit and I'm going to hand sew a button. But while I've got the machine, I'll just go ahead and run that through. You won't be able to see that, but I'll show you as soon as I'm done. Okay, guys, I hope that you can see that. I've stitched around here. I went ahead and stitched the whole fabric bit on there and a bit more lace up here. So now I've just got another little scrappy bit of the muslin and I'm going to just sew this button on here and then I will just glue this onto the guest check. Okay, so I'm just going to add that, I think there, yeah, I like that, 
And then we've got this other little piece that we weren't too sure what to do with, but I'm going to put that down there now. And I'm just adding some glue to the back of it. Now, I would recommend the Fabri-Tac because it will glue paper to fabric really nice. And I'm going to have this just kind of hanging over the edge. And so there you go. I really like that. Uh, I'm so glad I found this because I think I've got three or four more of these. Um, and I'm just going to make up a batch of these so that they'll be ready to add to journals while I've got all my supplies out. I'm just going to carry on with that. But I'm very happy with how that's, <coughs> excuse me, with how that's come out. The only thing I'll probably do is I think it would be nice to have a, a metal eyelet here with some seam binding to finish that off. That's, that's all that, that needs now. And that will be ready to add. The other thing you could do is, because um, I've got all this sewing on the back, I might actually come back with a... index card and back that so that you've got a nice clean writing space and then I'll just distress around it but um, I'll do that when I'm ready to add this to the journal so sorry about the noise guys we've got um, there's a really loud truck here at this park and uh, he's just passing by so I apologize for that so that's what I would do to finish this off now is just back that with a index card and then add a nice metal eyelet and then I think that tag has come out really pretty so I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed that well I'll tell you what I'll just go ahead and do it right now let me just go ahead and do that <clears throat> at least I'll have that part done I'm keeping an eye out I said I wasn't going to buy an eyelet or a crocodile but I'm keeping an eye out to see if I run across one at some of the thrift stores or um, eBay. If I can find something reasonable, I'm going to go ahead and get one because I'm missing adding the eyelets to my projects and um, I do feel like it's a really important tool. Yeah, that's just going to finish that off really, really nice. a little bit short so I'll just use that extra bit to cover that and now let me just distress the edges a little bit <coughs>
make sure everything's holding. It seems to be. Okay. So, as I said, now the only thing to me that it's missing is some seam binding and a nice metal eyelet so that will have to come down the road. I'll just put this to the side for now until I get those supplies in but I'm very happy with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's pretty quick and, and easy to do and hopefully if you've been worried about how you're going to use those hopefully that's answered it. So take care and I'll see you here soon guys. Bye bye.